Parents of the future rejoice and behold, as we present you the future of your kids. It's time to say goodbye to all those pregnancy problems you have been suffering for years or in case you may suffer in the future because now we have an eye nanny that can take care of our babies while they are still in the womb. It may sound like a dystopian sci-fi future. As exhibited in The Matrix, however, the researchers have claimed it to be completely safe and as real as the actual womb. So is it true that the future babies will be born in labs instead of hospitals? Let's find out. Hi and welcome to iWorld News. Today we'll be speaking about how an eye invented by China will care for human embryos in artificial wombs. Please watch the video to find out all the details and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the bell notification. The China is already far ahead in technology as compared to the rest of the world and it looks like it's going to be first in creating real-life humans too. For decades, China has suffered from a low birth rate. Therefore, scientists in the country have created a new breakthrough inventing a robot babysitter. Recently, scientists in China reportedly developed an artificial intelligence robot nanny which will take care of human embryos in artificial wombs. While the wombs in which embryos will grow will be artificial, they will nurture the babies similar to a real one. Chinese scientists and researchers from the Suzhou Institute of Biomedical Engineering Technology have revealed that their nanny is a highly intelligent eye-based robot, but there are still some trials which need to be conducted on real embryos. In fact, the technology is inspired by the robots that are described in the short story Daisy's Patent Automatic Nanny from Ted Chang's acclaimed Exhalation 2019 collection. In the story, a child is raised exclusively by a robot babysitter, but grows up to become a child who is unable to interact with other humans. So, does that mean we will be creating confused cyborgs in the future? Well, it's a complete different theory, but let's hope not. Apart from that, the scientists say that their technology is far better and more efficient than the actual wombs to grow embryos as they claim it to be safer. In their study, which has been published in the Journal of Biomedical Engineering, the scientists reveal that their eye system ranks embryos based on their development potential and claim that they have already run tests on embryos of animals. There are still many unsolved mysteries about the physiology of typical human embryonic development, the research stated, as per a report. Moreover, it added that the AI technology would not only help further understand the origin of life and embryonic development of humans, but also provide a theoretical basis for solving birth defects and other major reproductive health problems. Furthermore, the researchers also stated that their system could uncover many mysteries about the phenomenon of typical human embryonic development. This could also provide theoretical basis for solving major reproductive health problems and birth defects. In 2019, associate professor in law, neuropatient, and bioethicist, and public health researcher Evie Kendall wrote in their article for the conversation Artificial Wombs Could Aid Premature Babies. They wrote, currently, those born earlier than 22 weeks gestation have little to no hope of survival and those born at 23 weeks are likely to suffer a range of disabilities. Using a sealed bio bag, which mimics the maternal womb, might help extremely premature babies survive and improve their quality of life. However, it is worth noting that this would not be the first instance when scientists are experimenting with embryos for a breakthrough. Before this, some scientists from Salk Institute of Biological Studies in California conducted an experiment in which they attempted to grow human stem cells within a macaque monkey embryo claiming that the intention behind this project was to study cell communication and to harvest organs for donation. The embryo was initially kept monitored for almost 20 days, but then it was destroyed as it challenged experiments' ethics. So previous attempts made in order to grow fetuses artificially have been successful, but only for a few hours or days. However, according to an experiment by doctors at the Hospital of Philadelphia, lamb fetuses could be supported for up to 28 days. This system used to support the lamb fetuses resembled a big Ziploc bag filled with amniotic fluid. Director of the Center for Fetal Research, Dr. Alan Flake told the Huffington Post at the time, if our system is as successful as we think it can be, ultimately the majority of pregnancies predicted at risk for extreme prematurity would be delivered onto a system that keeps them immersed, rather than being delivered onto a ventilator. So how exactly does an artificial-driven system work? Chinese scientists have shown a huge confidence in their newly built system, and according to them, their eye nanny works by adjusting carbon dioxide nutrition levels and other important factors required by the fetus to grow, and it also monitors them while providing these conditions. As per media reports, the Suzhou Institute has developed this system because of the low birth rate in China over the recent years. In addition, this new technology can potentially take away the need from a woman to carry a baby inside or her for nine months, allowing the fetus to develop and grow in an artificial womb effectively. 
Although the technology is still very much in its earliest stages, a looming population crisis in China is only serving to accelerate its development. I don't think technology would be a problem. One anonymous researcher at the Capital Institute of Pediatrics in Beijing told the SCMP, adding that the tech could risk turning hospitals into factories that churn out babies, and no hospital would want to bear this responsibility. So, it's a fascinating ethical issue that's emerging from an equally fascinating piece of technology. However, if ever realized, it could certainly help couples who are struggling to have kids to finally become parents. But we do need to be wary of the considerable ethical implications of such a system as well. Now, you must already know about the actual human wombs, but what is an artificial womb? Artificial womb, or also referred to as long-term embryo culture device, is basically a container which is used to embryos can be placed to grow filled with nutritious fluids. Before this technology, the process of development for an embryo carefully needed to be observed, documented, and adjusted manually, which turned out to be unsustainable as it was an intensive labor task. But now the robot nanny can watch over developing embryos in exceptional detail, moving upwards and downwards, around the clock, as specified by the research. As the system is capable of ranking the embryos based on their health and potential of development, if an embryo dies or suffers from a defect, the nanny will immediately alert the technician to remove it. While all of this sounds too dreamy and good to be true, the system currently has to overcome a lot of challenges to be acceptable. According to some scientists, human trials are still a long way off, with Matt Kemp saying that convincing evidence is yet to be made to begin testing human embryo growth outside of a human womb. Kemp said, anyone who tells you they are going to be doing this in two years either has a wealth of data that is not in the public domain or is being a bit sensationalist. All the experiments to date have been done on fetuses that come from healthy pregnancies. That's simply not the case for a 21 or 22 week human fetus. They're not going to be healthy babies. Getting this into clinical use is going to be incredibly difficult. So majority of us may even agree with Kemp as he has raised some valid objections. However, once we are able to create a fully functioning technology like this, it is going to be an interesting project to see whether the system will actually reach the level of progress its creators are aiming for, especially after knowing that the nation has banned surrogacy. Therefore, any hospital who delivers such baby will have to take the responsibility for it, which obviously nobody wants to fall into. So, there you have it, the future of creating babies, in which you will be able to pair an AI nanny with simulated wombs to take care of your young one, and this future is closer than you think. And this is all for today guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think this robot nanny can actually help China grow its population? Share your views with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. And thank you for watching.